Hi, my name is Steve from Rockstar Eater and thank you so much for watching this episode. And today we are joined by two very special guests. And these two are doing some wonderful things in Los Angeles in terms of food documenting and critiquing. So we have Stephanie here and we have Lula here from the Dining Dolls, which is a popular Instagram channel devoted to food vlogging. So uh, Stephanie, Lula, tell us a little bit about the Dining Dolls. Hi, we're the Dining Dolls on Instagram and we cover all of LA's best restaurants, best events. We venture out into different states and countries as well, but mostly cover Los Angeles. We're sisters, we've been passionate about food all our lives and we moved to Los Angeles and have been having our Instagram blog for about five years now. So we're happy to collaborate and eat with you. All right, that sounds so exciting. I'm so excited. Well, if you guys have a chance, go to Instagram on the dining dolls and you'll be able to see their um, their Instagram and to be able to follow in on everything that they're doing all around Los Angeles. Well, anyways, we're gonna get started with the first restaurant, which is the Japanese fried chicken. We're, we are actually standing um, in front of this restaurant called Kariyama, which is behind us. So we're gonna begin with the Japanese fried chicken, and then we're gonna head over to Koreatown to try the Korean fried chicken. And this is gonna be such a unique perspective because, you know, me, of course, being Asian, and then we have two other guests who are, you know, not Asian, but it definitely does bring a perspective to the, to the critiquing of the food. So why don't we head on in into the restaurant and then we'll begin. Let's go. All right, and in terms of the appearance, so it looks like it is kind of crispy on the top. It's uh, not too dark brown, so it has a fairly um, like golden uh, look to it. All right, so now we're gonna dig in and we're gonna give it a shot and we're gonna see at least how this restaurant tastes like. All right, so you ready, ladies? I'm ready. Yeah. All right. So far without the sauce to really taste. Yes, chicken. yes, right. let's go with, with, without the sauce first, just see how it tastes just by itself. Okay. All right, so cheers. Cheers to you. All right, <laughs> Woo. here we go. Oh. Very crunchy. Yeah. Very juicy. Mm. Really juicy. Oh. Well, maybe that's the oil. I don't know. Yeah, well, it tastes great. <laughs> ah, that's all that matters, huh? <laughs> so yeah, I I think like I said, it's it's juicy and at the same time, the top and the layer, the batter is like it's not like so hard crunchy as in like it grates into your mouth, but it's like a very nice, pleasant crispiness to yeah. it. Like a soy garlic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. So this is very interesting from what I usually have because what they give us at the other restaurants are is more kind of like the mayo or spicy mayo. Right. Yeah. So this one is more, I think, unique to this restaurant. But we'll definitely give it a shot by dipping that in there. It's different from the typical mayo sauce, which they also have at the restaurant. I brought wasabi mayo. Ooh, I love. Hmm. Yeah. Ketchup, spicy ketchup, and. <laughs> Where's the ranch? Sweet chili. Sweet chili, all right. Make Ooh, it I a love, little bit. There are options. I love sweet and savory. Okay. My favorite combo. It's like, I'm yeah, gonna try some of that. Makes it taste, you know, more Japanese. Mm. <laughs> all right. So what did you think about the sauce? I like it. Yeah. Which one do you prefer? For both of the sauces, I would probably say, you know, both of them to me are pretty good, but maybe this one just a little bit more. Yeah. 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 Definitely, yeah. Brighter. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It See, balances the chicken. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I think this restaurant is pretty cool because they actually kind of make sauces that are very unique to karage mm -hmm. dipping sauce. I mean, don't get me wrong, the mayo dipping sauce is great. Like oh, spicy mayo. Especially. Oh yeah, like, yeah. yep, fried chicken sandwiches. Yeah. But yeah, you know, you go to a restaurant and you just kind of see how they have their individual personalities in terms of the way they make their fried chicken, their sauces and everything. So yeah, I mean, karage, they, Everybody has like their own recipe to karage, but generally this is what it's supposed to look like and what it's supposed to taste like. I really love the coating and the breading because American chicken, yeah. our chicken, I notice it just falls apart and the whole Does it? just crisps right off in yeah. big chunks and this stays on completely, which I'm really pleased. No, yeah, this is really good. I, I love how fluffy and crispy the breading is. So that's, mm -hmm. that's the difference between American and American. American sometimes seems to kind of 
falls flat. Yeah. And also just fall off. <laughs> but this one, yeah, really sticks on and it's like, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's like a popcorn crisp almost. Mm. Like it's really bubbly and lots of pockets of in there. Wow. It's really good and juicy. And like I think that it keeps the moisture in and the chicken too, so it makes it all really juicy. So we just finished the Japanese fried chicken here at Kariyama and we were very, very impressed with this. So it's going to be some uh, tough competition to beat, but um, Koreans do have their fried chicken as well and they do a pretty amazing job from what I've experienced and what these ladies have experienced in the past as well. So we are done here at Kariyama and we are going to pack up and we are going to head over to Koreatown, K-Town for our next adventure at Korean Fried Chicken. Yay! Let's Woo! Go yes! <laughs> Stop! Let's do it. So let's begin with the original first since it's less so we can go from the lesser to the greater in terms of the intensity of taste. Yeah, you got this? All right. All right, here we go. Let's try it. Cheers. Definitely a lot of breading. Mm -hmm. This feels like it's more heavily breaded than the other one. The other one was a little lighter. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's a little, there's some seasoning and there's a little pepper. Mm -hmm. um, but the first bite I got, it was mostly ready. Same here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's fire some of the sauce here. Uh, maybe uh, spice it up just a little bit. Just don't want to burn my tongue here. So this is a, actually a little bit of a different uh, Korean fried chicken than I've had, although like I said, I usually eat this one. So this one was something different because I usually don't get the regular. Should we? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. This Ladies so first. Exciting. With all the pineapples on it. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yes. There it wow. is. It is a big chunk. Oh, I see lots of sesame seeds, which I love the sesame seeds. So Ooh. I'm excited about okay. that. Okay. All right. Let's. Yeah. Very sesame forward. Garlicky. I definitely, I, I think I prefer this one over this one, even though like you kind of um, compromise the crunchiness factor, but it's the flavor is better when it's a little, when it's more coated in the sauce. Mm, yeah. The sauce is really good and the sesame seeds make it stand out. Right, right. Yeah, actually in uh, Korean fried chicken, at least what I've had before in the past is that a lot of them does not really come in the, like the typical, uh, fashion like this, but that they're all pretty much coated in something. And yeah. uh, like whether it's like the soy garlic sauce or the uh, chili sauce, I mean, there's always some sort of coating over it. So yeah, yeah this is actually a very typical Korean fried chicken. Uh, you ladies did uh, see the difference between Korean ch fried chicken as well as the Japanese fried chicken. And of course, uh, you guys on uh, YouTube have also seen the difference between Korean fried chicken and Japanese fried chicken. So we know that between the two, there is difference in appearance and there's also a difference in taste as well. And, you know, we tried to pick two of the uh, more um, highly rated restaurants in the Los Angeles area that represents both of these different cuisines. Now, the big controversial question that we, um, you guys are probably asking because we posed this at the beginning of the video is, which of the two is better? Or at least, which of the two was better in this video? So before I go with my, um, my opinion, Stephanie, would you I, like to share your thoughts? I would love to. So I, first I'd like to say both were good, but definitely there's one clear winner for me. And that was the first one because it kind of had everything. It had that crunch and it was still kind of airy and super crunchy and the chicken was juicy and moist inside. It's kind of the perfect bite. And then it came with all these sauces on the side that I absolutely love. So you can customize it to whatever. And I just love that it stayed juicy and crunchy through the whole time that we were eating it. The skin didn't fall off and it was nice. And it actually had like a light effect to it. So that's why I like the first one better. The second one was a little more dense, heavier on the breading, not as much flavor even though it was covered in sauce. Um, the sauce was good though. I really liked the sauce. But 
yeah, for me, I would I would definitely go with the first one. Okay, do you have an opinion, Lula? I would have to say I am team Japan. Okay. For the fried chicken as well. I loved how crispy and light the little pieces were, and it was just it definitely stands out. Everything she she said as well. Mm. Say it twice, but okay. I love it. All right. Yeah, and as for me, uh, I think I can pretty much resonate with the same sentiment. I mean, both of them were very unique in its own way. But in terms of the two restaurants that we tried, uh, Kariyama versus Goltong, um, I can definitely say that the uh, Kariyama restaurant definitely had a little bit more of a pleasant, uh, clean taste all around, which I personally enjoy. So um, yeah, so there you have it for this episode of Japan or Japanese versus Korean fried chicken. So once again, I encourage you guys to follow the dining dolls on Instagram. Just go on Instagram, type them up, and you can follow in to see some of the exciting food pictures that they have going on on a near daily basis. And if you enjoyed this episode of Rockstar Eater, then uh, please do give me a thumbs up. Um, comment if you have any suggestions on anything that you liked or anything that you didn't like or anything that you want to probably give some feedback on. And please also consider subscribing to Rockstar Eater as well. That's the best way to get the weekly episodes in order so that you can see me delivering some entertaining, informative content to you on a weekly basis. But once again, my name is Steve, the host of Rockstar Eater with the dining dolls on this episode, and uh, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.